afternoon. Happy Easter weekend to my Christian fellow brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Music Shop Talk Show. So glad to have you on this 16th day of April. Yeah. Feeling it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about.
so much fun I like to feel like a, a, a funk machine funk music has got its own kind of like a vibe and I really enjoy it and um, you know because I grew up in a time when um, funk bands in the 70s and late 60s uh, were influencing the music everywhere and uh, it's the music that influenced me the most uh, and swing, uh, of course. And, you know, Latin music. Latin music is important, too, because some of the subgrooves in funk and swing and Latin mixed together make the uh, growing journey that music is on. And we're all just part of it. 
and in it. And the cool thing about the music uh, and be, and p playing music is you could jump in and out at any time. It's it's constantly evolving. And one of the coolest things is it's one of the most forgiving because it's never angry when you leave and it's never angry when you come back. It's always just grateful to have you doing it. So whenever you play music, it's an opportunity to be part of the evolution of music, which is a live and a real language. And many that it have experienced it in their lives can tell you that I'm telling you the truth. And um, I'm just so excited to be with you on this Easter weekend. Um, you know, my heritage, this is a very big weekend, the um, resurrection of Christ the Lord and uh, Easter weekend. So this is a great time for reflection. And for me, I've been doing a lot of work just playing and trying to do good deeds. I hope that all of you are on the same plane. Uh, it's been a rough uh, few years for all of us. And now it's time to pull together and continue to do our best to make a better place. And I'll continue to try to do that uh, as long as I can. Um, uh, maybe I'm feeling some swing. Yeah. So one of the uh, per guests last week uh, reminded me that at the beginning I was doing some uh, exercises. So I am. Let's do one real quick before I do this swing because we'll use this in the swing, okay? So this is how you play a standard bass line when you're hanging on one chord, okay? So let's say I'm just hanging on F7, for example. Notice I always go to the threes and sevens. If you go back to the very beginning, I showed you that the elements of the chord on the right hand need to kind of tell it whether it's major or minor or whether it's going to stay or go. And as they're called the leading tone, that's the seventh one and the three being the chord qualifier, major, minor. Okay, so we're going to stay on major. Feel it. Swinging. Dun, 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 dun. So, playing a bass line to music, it's most important to find out where the real one is and that's known as universal one. Because even though we're counting one, two, three, four, where you put that bass line may be a little bit ahead or behind, depends. Different people put them in different places. So our bass line is going to be real simple. We're going to go one, three, half step, half step. Notice this is the fifth note. One, two, three, four. Uh. Well, this happens to be the fifth note of the F major scale. So this is known as the turnaround. Just like we put the 3 and 7 here to kind of let you know what kind of chord it is. This tells you we're going to go back. You almost hear. Okay, so you're going to go up. Make a major third jump. That's called a pattern. Then a half step chromatic passing tone. Right? Half step low. Then come right back down the scale. Okay. Just keep it going. and up. Thank you, Jan. See, and that's solid. I'm just tapping with my foot. I'll lighten it up. <laughs> it's a little sloppy. 
it's a little heavier. I'm going down. A, B flat, B, C, D, E flat, E. Half step. Mm -hmm. It's a new one. Keep going. C, D, E flat, E. Now come down. F, E flat, D, D flat, C, B flat, A, G. where I put those I can make it have different feels like a jump like put a little skip in your watch scale so we had that F E flat C B B flat A flat F. but I also say that add the three So hopefully what you'll do is develop three or four or five different combination patterns that you can move in different directions at will with the left hand. Sometimes it's important to maintain a pattern. But sometimes it's also important to break that pattern so that it has spontaneity. So patterns are good in shout choruses when you're trying to make a point or you're trying to make a particular mantra. Uh, playing non-patterns gives you the ability to feel more free, loose, and um, that kind of stuff. Anyhow, so I want to swing, and um, that was a swing groove for F7. So hopefully you'll get some time to practice uh, putting together uh, patterns using different notes. Um, to do that and make those lines the important thing to remember before I proceed on to playing some music just to finish one important point is that when you're doing these bass lines and you're hanging on one chord it's important that your bass line goes to the five on the second measure because that's what tells it to go back to the one so in essence it's a breakdown of the most simple but most pure turnaround
something you would hear like in traditional folk music, uh, you would want to get to the five. So imagine that the other notes are just fillers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So basically when I'm playing swing and I'm hanging on the same chord, on the opposite measure, I'm going to get my bass line to the five of that key or that chord. And then the next four beats get myself back. And that gives you that feeling that the music is breathing and not just playing a pattern for the sake of a pattern, which, like I said, is necessary in certain um, uh, uses as well because there's mantras or there's particular reasons why you want to keep certain things in in place so that everybody has the right parameters you know okay so let's swing something kind of go into some medium up today i'm feeling like it i always forget this not the one to choose one i've been using that one let's try a different one i like this one because it drives kind of makes you feel like it wants to move you know so all right let's see i like this one <laughs> Thank you. 
cranking today it feels good doesn't it man i like bass i like bass that's just all there is to it i love bass and i like to play it with my left hand like because the way i can play the bass with my left hand uh, i can say things and sculpt things that i can't with my foot and um, I respect and love both styles. I use the pedals in a different way than your traditional organist would. This is not to look at the organ as an instrument, but rather looking at the Hammond as a synthesizer. So... 
I think there's like a lot of gray lines in terms of what this is instrument represents because its original intention was to synthesize a pipe organ to be used in churches small churches that couldn't afford pipe organs but soon it started to become adopted in smaller churches and because of its synthesizer nature it's capable of playing other music other than just music that was written for pipe organ music so this is called an organ because it fits in that category but what is an organ but a synth right when you look at a pipe organ the pipes are built to play what flutes trumpets instruments it's a it's a modern day air synth and so the Hammond organ was built to synthesize that so I use it as a synthesizer that's capable of playing bass comp and solo lines and all of its sounds that it encompasses so when I'm using the pedals I'm using usually when I'm playing the pedals only and not using the left hand this is how untraditional my style is my foot pedals may be used while I'm using my left hand to make sound changes or changes to the organ but soon I may come back to the left hand bass okay so I'm gonna give you a demonstration of playing a Latin tune where I'm gonna use a really cool sound and I'm going to integrate the left hand and the pedals together. But I'm also going to use the synthesizer effect of the organ. So this is going to be cool. Let's see. Let me get, I think I'll go funk today. Dr. Kenny and I were working a tune called hmm, Cars, Trucks, Buses. Okay. So I'm going to get a funky beat here. Let's see, funky. And the first two on Drum Genius are not bad, but they're a, they've are they got a little bit of this too much of a junka junka chaka junka 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 chak. So I want to see if I can find something a little different. I like this Brian Blade at 11 because it's kind of ambiguous, okay? Thank you. 
of using uh, a lot of funk rhythms in the left hand and roots in the bass to help you feel the uh, main chords and that's what I like to call bass double bass uh, method and it's probably something that uh, it's just been developed over years of playing so it's just natural for me to do those things so that's some of the concepts for you to mess around with when you're playing funk is if you do have bass pedals i do have advice for a lot of uh young beginners uh young being young in in playing the organ um, pedals are not the first thing you want to be trying to learn um, you want to try to get if anything with your pedals just knowing where the roots are because if you're going to be playing the traditional style that you're seeing a lot of youngsters playing they're playing left hand bass and um, if you're looking at the modern style of playing Hammond organ um, if you're going to look at the traditional style of Hammond organ, you're going to see a lot of people playing bass pedals. And so you will want to start right on bass pedals. And you want to start with a good teacher that knows how to use them properly. Because I have a kind of 
a theory about it that the lower manual is where a lot of the organ, at least in my world, happens. This is bells and whistles, and down there is chaos. So a lot of people are playing pedals, but because of that third wheel, it's creating a lot of chaos. So you want to take it incrementally and learn the process as you go so that you develop the muscle memory to be able to be free, to be able to choose to maybe say something here or here or here. So it's wonderful to have you all today. I'd like to thank you for joining me. I'd like to remind you that music is my life. And if you visit my website, b3monaco.com, you can do a couple of things. There's a link down there at the bottom. Um, and you can join our wonderful group today. Our group is the Bass Comp and Solo Group. And it meets every Saturday at 1.30 Eastern. And we have a wonderful group of members from all around the world. That's just incredible that we have people joining us there. And today we're going to continue on our quest of tunes in three as we wrap up someday my prince will come and work into one of my other favorite blues at yeah all right we're gonna have fun today listen when you go here by the way i love to teach and i'm looking always for new students new students bring me a new opportunity to learn just as well as it brings you an opportunity so I give you that opportunity for just $30 trial lesson. Everything's recorded. We spend an hour together. It could be just a question you have. Or you want to check out what we can do to develop a course. It might be able to help you grow. You know, that's been my passion um, since I started uh, having some releases. One of my greatest desires was to legitimize this instrument you know the Hammond organ is one of those instruments that like I just discussed with you there's a division among the people who play the instrument whether it be for theater style classical style gospel style jazz style funk style rock style there's so many different styles of playing this instrument some it's not used at all other than as a keyboard. For instance, a lot of times in rock bands, you'll hear a lot of screaming organ things, but there's a bass player. Some other times, you'll find that it's just the organ all by itself and many other combinations. So I have a school that I started that's really nice. You can take a free three-day trial. The school's only $14.95 a month. And it has over 300 hours of videos from classes and personal videos that I make and even some of my guests. So check it out. Go to the school. The link's down there on the bottom. Take a free three-day trial. And uh, excuse me, it's uh, $14.99 a month. And um, there's so many wonderful videos. And there's a forum. You can be in touch with all the members. And it's growing. And I am constantly contributing new things and new uh, parts of it. So check it out. It's free and it would connect you to me in a new way. And a lot of times what students that take the school is once in a while, they may just decide to take a lesson. So uh, that's where you can just go right there to my lessons page or just get a hold of me. I am so easy to get a hold of. If you like videos, and you don't want to do a school subscription thing, I have a lot of downloads and a lot of DVDs that you can buy too. And each time, remember, when you purchase something from the artist's website, you actually are supporting the artist. So when you buy these DVDs from me, or when you buy my new CD and T-shirt from me, I invest to make these things. You help me make it back. You help me make my investment back. So if you support my music and you love my music and you support who I am and what I'm trying to do, you want to help me out buying CDs or buying DVDs or buying lessons. That's the best way to do it. It keeps me working, and I want to work. That's why I'm here today. 
because I want to work. I want to show you that I'm suiting up and showing up to do my job. And it's important to you if you're considering me to be your teacher. So thanks for considering that. Also, there's ways down at the bottom if you feel like you'd like to give us a tip. I really appreciate that, too. It helps me do what I do. And there's a link at the very bottom uh, that also will give you the opportunity to give to the poor displaced children. Over two-thirds of the children in Ukraine now have been displaced. And it, it's terrible. It's just terrible. So um, please consider whatever. And... Uh, this is a time to give wherever. Help, help the money circulate. Help the world have a chance. See, when we hold on to the money because we're afraid, we stop it. You know, we stop the chances, and we've got to keep it rolling to increase the chances of everyone getting some. That's how it kind of works. So it's like when a stream is backed up, you know, you got a problem. But once you open it up, everybody gets the water. And uh, that's the way the uh, money works in the world. So please be generous during these difficult times if you can because you're going to help someone else get the wheel going, get the fountain going, get the, get the stream going. Thank you for uh, listening to that. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to do it. Uh, let me play something on the Latin side. I like to play a bossa nova. It'll be nice. Let me do the My Little Boat. Oh, I like this song. You'll like it too.
y'all have a safe Easter God bless you all thanks for joining you know the uh, Logitech makes a really nice inexpensive camera they have wide if it you're looking for a widescreen for like a piano player they have the widescreen ones if not you could just get a standard view it's going to give you a square see i got a kind of like a rectangle here so widescreen depends on what your view is but they go from anywhere like 60 70 bucks to 150 you know that'll work and zoom is free so that's the cool thing the mic that all depends uh, if you're gonna just use the Leslie your overhead mic can pick it up enough for lessons if you're gonna record you might want to look deeper into that but a lot of my students start out with an overhead camera and then they just go to maybe some better audio later you know that's the fun of it it's a journey you know the main thing is if you got an instrument that you could play something even if it's a single manual you know I have some students that even start out with a little single manual and then grow into it so hey Mike Rudy Bob Melissa happy Easter every but Samuel and happy Passover to you, sir. Passover and Easter weekend, everybody. God bless you all. <laughs> I think I even saw Frederick in there, too. Where is he? There he is. God bless you all. We'll see you. Have a great day.